For me, I think we'll be interacting differently um, in the way that we physically communicate with people. I think it would be a lot more virtual. Um, I think we could probably increase um, the amount of time that we spend talking to clients because our clients will have that technology as well. Um, and in that respect, it will keep our costs down, it will keep our emissions down and just make them far more streamlined. I think in 15 years' time, our relationships with our clients will be slightly different because I think we'll be able to operate on a, on a shared platform. So we'll be working and sharing the data together so that we produce a more effective project. I don't think the way we'll interact with our clients will change fundamentally in 15 years, but we can be communicating what we're doing much better, using 3D modelling to, to say, this is what the infrastructure will look like, not showing planned drawings that are a bit difficult to understand, but we can actually sort of simulate and visualise how the infrastructure will look to, to have a much more fluid conversation with our clients. I think in the next 15 years' time, uh, I, I would say our de deliverables will pretty much be the same but we'd have to deliver them in a completely different way. I also see that, um, that our clients will be more demanding in terms of how quickly they want our deliverables. I think we'll be looking to continue interacting with clients face to face, but potentially uh, digital technology will be an enabler to allow us to uh, replicate face to face meetings, but remotely. So we could be here in the UK um, and have a, a hologram of our client on the wall opposite and we can interact with them. I think the point about holograms is really uh, really useful because um, actually a lot of the benefits we get from face-to-face -face meetings you don't get with video conferencing but a hologram might solve that.